Welcome everybody, this is Jason Seacrest and we are going to go through another step-by-step -step Adobe Illustrator challenge series where we are going to break down our tutorials into multiple different steps so we can focus on each step individually, give you a little bit more explanation and then walk you through step-by-step -step all the way through the process. So let's just zoom in, in with this face and we are going to do some heavy hitters pretty quick but let's just do some nice little circles to start off with. I am going to be typically dragging from the middle so a lot of these I will be able to see where that center point is I am just gonna drag them on out and while I'm thinking about it let's just come on over I'm gonna click on our swatches and this is how we can color along the way I'm gonna click on swatch libraries menu click on other library we are gonna be looking for the cupcake challenge but just so you guys can see where that's going to be hanging out, I am looking at your color palettes. This is my version. All of your ASE are already organized in a nice clean folder for you. So you are just looking for that cupcake challenge. Click on OK. And just so you can see how easy this is, I want to have all of these colors over here. All I want you to do is click on that folder. And that is it. Done and done. And what that does is when I'm coloring things, now that folder is hanging in up here. If I didn't click that folder, it doesn't populate into your swatches. But I want to grab my eyeball, and then I want that to be our dark brown color. All right, let's do a quick little pen tool. I am just gonna go one, two, and I'm just playing connect the dots. I'm not doing anything else. I have a two-step approach that I like to teach beginners. So it just straight lines first. We're just laying down those anchor points. I am gonna come over, let's click both of these, and then I'm just gonna come over to this nice little convert, and let's just click on that. Let's keep our lives a little bit easy today. So let's just grab that handle. Maybe we can do a little bit more of a curve, but something simple, right? So we wanna be nice and slow. Notice when I ever do white arrow, and I switch back and forth, our white arrow is A, and then I am very slow and deliberate with our anchors, with our handles. And then notice, notice I did turn this up. So not, see how big of a target that is? So I just would recommend, and you can see our little smart guide say handle. So before I pull, it says handle. And then I can basically go from there. So that's what that smart guide's going to do. All right. That looks good. Since we built one, we get to copy it. Let's not do more work for ourselves. Now, there's a couple of ways of copying. The one I'm gonna start recommending and just pushing more is our duplicate. Hold on your alt or your option. And as you were dragging, you were holding on for dear life on that alt, so my finger, I'm, I'm holding it right there. And if I hold on shift, it's gonna stay on that same plane as I'm dragging. The only difference is, and the thing I want to point out, is if you were ever dragging and you let go of your alt too soon, you are just gonna move the object. So I want you to hang on. And again, the longhand version, edit copy, edit paste in front. We're gonna, gonna select this one. I am going to transform. I am going to reflect. I want that to be on the vertical axis. All right, so let's do a tiny bit of aligning. I am going to select both of them. Notice I'm on my black arrow. And then I'm gonna click this one again. And that makes it a key object. And then I want those to be aligned towards the center. Let's do the same thing. I'm on my black arrow. I'm holding down shift. I'm selecting that one. That is now my key object. And we'll do the opposite. I want that to be aligned on the inside. And eyeballs look like they're done. So I am just going to group those. We are going to come back and center things. But that will make life very, very easy for, for right now. So let's do this. Let's start building out that mouth. I'm just looking at that bottom edge for right now. So I'm going to draw that out. That looks good. Notice I still have my dark brown fill. I am going to kind of come over, I'm going to do Shift X for right now, and Shift X whenever you hear me say it, is this little toggle right here. And that's just so I can see my anchor guide. So I'm going to draw out a nice little square, just so it goes through that top. Just notice that it's big and it overlaps the entire shape. And now we can start having some fun with Pathfinder. So I am going to click Shift X on both of those. and. This is gonna be a little garbage green. This is our cutaway shape. So I'm just looking to see if that mouth shape is where I want it. Looks good to me. So I'm gonna hold down shift. Again, I'm still on my black arrow. 
I'm going to come over to Pathfinder. And if again you don't see Pathfinder, just come under Window, drop down to Pathfinder, and then you're going to do that. Under our shape mode, I am just going to click on minus fronts, and then that's going to disappear. All right, that looks good. I'm going to click Shift X again so I can see all my other fun things in there. Let's draw some teeth. Again, hold down that Alt option, drag it over, grab your ellipse. The middle two are a little bit bigger. So I'm going to switch over to my black arrow. All right, let's just double check. So I'm going to click on my align. I want these aligned to selection. So I just want to double check that those are in fact aligned. I want to make sure that these two guys are aligned. I'm going to grab all four of them. And then I'm going to distribute spacing on the horizontal just to make sure those are nice and spaced out. That looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Shift X and then I'm just going to unite those shapes. So those will just go nice and through the center. Notice this little point right there. I'm going to click on my minus just so there's not any issues. I'm just going to get rid of all of those little guys. Just so if you look at our top of the mouth, see how it's going to be a big overlap on the top? So there's no little issues. If that corners come down, it'll look like gums. So I guess it's a cool effect if you want gums. All right. Let's come over, color those white. Let's just do it while we're, while we're thinking about it. I'm going to grab both of those. I'm going to come over to my shape builder. I'm going to hold down my alt and or your option. And then I'm just going to clean up that top part. Now it fits nice and neatly in. Teeth look like they're pretty well done. All right, let's just do two other little shapes. So I'm going to do a dark shape. This is actually going to be black. And then let's do two more little circles for that tongue. And then we're going to play around with our arranging. I drew one. Practice your duplicating. And again, just hang on for dear life on that alt. Advanced. All right, I want to unite those. I just want to double check that they are both centered, which they are. Let's come over to Pathfinder. Again, unite. That looks good. So now we can just start cleaning all of this up. Before I do, I want to just start arranging. So I want to bring two fronts. I'm going to click on Shift X just so we can see what we are looking at. All right, so let's just zoom in on this mouth so you can see the process. It is going to be super, super easy. We are just going to grab our tongue. We're going to grab our mouth. And let's just grab that little black circle. Notice that we've already done the teeth, so we don't need to do that. Again, we're going to grab our shape builder. I'm going to hold down Alt. Just get rid of those two. It might just only have been one, by the way. And then I'm going to click on that top part. Everything is nice and clean. So what I want to do is just deselect. I'm on my black arrow. So I clicked on V and then I just clicked anywhere on this artboard. And then I, what I want to do is grab all those three and see how there's these little overlaps. If I just come over to Pathfinder and if I just cl click on this merge, it'll just clean them up nice and neat. And then we're going to be good to go. So I'm going to grab this mouth. I think that mouth will be good for right now. Let's keep our building going. So all of this looks like it's pretty well done. I'm going to group these together. Now where do I want them is the question. Let's do this. Let's give it a test. So what I want to do is just have two, and I'm on a line segment right now, and just notice that I'm just trying to go through some of these corners. Okay, so we just drew out both of them. I want to select them. Let's just come up to the top, Object. Let's go to Blend, Make. And mine was really, really nice today. Look at how nice they did that. So I just want to do specific steps just so you can kind of see what default was. So it was three, and I'm just kind of eyeballing is it going through each one of those little guys. So I'm going to click on OK. You guys nailed it. Thank you, Illustrator. Sometimes it works very nicely for us. And so what I want to do is I want to expand that effect. So I'm going to click on expand and I'm just going to get rid of the fill, 
the stroke, I only want to expand the object. And that's just a f basically finishing the effect. So notice I still have each one of my strokes. That looks great. Let's grab a little circle. So we're gonna have some fun with the bottoms and things like that too. So let's do this. So I just drew out a nice little circle. So I'm gonna select it. And I pretty much just don't want anything on that one. That's just gonna be a nice little cutaway shape for the most part. So I'm gonna grab all of our strokes. Next, I wanna come into our shape builder. And let's just zoom in so you can see what it's gonna to wanna to do. Is if I'm on shape builder, notice that I've got the circle selected and all those lines. And then if I come in, it's gonna be pretty subtle, but it's gonna highlight the stroke red. Notice it wants to build, just leave it alone. All you need to do is hover over those strokes. And then we are just using that little circle as a little bit of a cutaway. So you're gonna notice that it's cutting everything out. Nice and neat for a nice little face shape. So I'm gonna go control zero, and now I can just delete that little circle. All right guys, file save up. You made it all the way through the build. Typically the build is the harder part. We've got some Pathfinder in there, we've got some Shape Builder in there, and we had some Pen Tool. So there's quite a few different things that we definitely used. So if you made it all the way through, good job. Save up, and I will see you guys on the next tutorial.